Tip. It's P. Simple. The revolution will be digitized. Real Talk Session Series. The revolution will be digitized. Talk session series, the revolution. Will hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Taryn Morgan, the founder and content creator of the Real Talk Session Series. And today I have the honor of being with an individual. Um, I've seen her online doing her thing on Instagram with her videography and photography company. Um, I admit she's definitely nicer than me, you know, and I look forward to learning from her. But, you know, she went to Asbury, so Neptune keeps beating them in football. But today we have phenomenal woman, Samantha Munting. How are you doing today? I am doing well, and thanks for having me. And it's okay that they're beating us in football because you know, like you said, I got a couple of skills with the videography and photography. Exactly. You know, so that gives them a little upper, upper yeah, hand, yeah, as well, yeah, you yeah. know, but it's all good. But it's all love, though, because we <laughs> yes, all black people, definitely. It is all love. Yes, ma'am. So your company, Perimeter Productions. Yes. How did that come about? And just, you know, just tell us your, little, your story. Okay, so um, I've had the idea for the company since I graduated from Montclair State in 2013. Okay. But I really didn't pursue it because I actually did, um, you know, stay at my full-time job, which was at the hotel. Mm -hmm. And so I stayed there into uh, 2017. In January of 2017, that's when I finally had enough, and I decided, okay, I'm going to actually start my business. And, um, you know, I've always been you know, into capturing moments, whether it was like, you know, $25 camera that I had from Walmart. Mm -hmm. So it was just like, you know, something that I like to do. And it was something that I was, you know, talented. in. so I actually went ahead and started the business. Definitely salute to you for taking that jump because a lot of people are afraid to take the jump from going from the security net of a full-time job right. to going to an entrepreneur business where it's all on you. Yes. And that's tough. So like, what was your mindset at that time when you went from the hotel to thinking about starting your own business? Okay, so um, I was really in an uncomfortable spot at the hotel, mm -hmm. and it was mainly because I had been working with my manager for the seven years that I was there. Okay. And, you know, we had a great relationship. Um, plenty of times I said, oh, I'm going to, you know, go ahead and focus on my career. But then... You know, I always stayed because she every time I like try to leave, she couldn't find anybody to replace me. So mm -hmm. I stayed for a while. Yeah. But then she actually left and went to another hotel. Mm -hmm. So then someone that I've trained was now my manager. Now, yeah. of course, they knew I didn't want to be there. So I didn't expect them to offer me that position. But then at that point, it was like, OK, you know, maybe this is my sign that it's time to move on for me. Yeah. Like, you know, because you stay for a while trying to, you know, help other people out. But I had to put myself first. So at that time, I didn't really look to start my business, mm -hmm. but I did look to, um, you know, I had a, a degree. Yeah. So I'm like, I need to put this degree to use and get a higher paying job in something that, you know, could put me in a better position. So um, try to get a job at Allstate. Mm -hmm. Thought it was the perfect position, but I actually didn't get it. They actually hired within. No. But at the time, I looked up um, manifesting your dream job. Mm -hmm. And that really just opened up my mind set about, you know, like uh, your purpose, what yeah. you're supposed to be here for. And then I just kept having dreams during like I read a lot of books and came into a lot of information. And then I kept having dreams of me working with the camera. Yeah. And I said, listen, I've been doing this professionally since 2013 um you know it was more so of a, a side job but mm -hmm. then why not go ahead and make it my full-time gig and really put myself out there and believe in myself and really go for it yeah and that's one of the things too like that i applaud you for because oftentimes people become a slave to their circumstance and they feel like there's a sense of hopelessness that they can't do anything right. at all so like really what was like your internal motivating factor for you to really take that push? You said manifestation, but like what else was it besides that? So, OK, so I originally I had I had an official company, mm -hmm. um, you know, with my prior partner at one point. And we like we both like, you know, wanted to take it seriously, but didn't really take the business seriously. Yeah. And I really didn't believe in myself, like being able to really run a company like, you know, I was so used to being an employee mm -hmm. that it wasn't until I started reading the things about believing in yourself and affirmations and really, you know, living your life on purpose that I really had the confidence to say I can do this. Yeah. And it really took me to read, you know, different books, Think and Grow Rich, of course, um, you know, just the, the power of the subconscious mind mm -hmm. and all like coming into that information 
built up my confidence to say I can do this okay. and I can make it an official business. So that was like the really change that that happened to make me want to go ahead and start the business. Thank you for providing a little background of how you came to the point of starting your business. Mm-hmm. So can you give us a little bit more information about your company, Perimeter Productions, please? Sure. So um, right now my focus is helping businesses and brands with their content, okay. whether it be through photography or videography. So um, when I actually first started my business, I didn't have that focus. Mm-hmm. I literally, if you needed a camera and you needed some pictures or a video, yeah. I was going to help you I got because you. I really mentality. didn't, you know, I didn't know um, what I wanted to focus on. But through working with everybody, different things, weddings, sweet 16s, regular, you know, social events, whatever mm-hmm. the case may have been, I noticed that I really like working with businesses. Okay. And I wanted to be able to help people connect with their audience. So that's the whole point of what I do. So most of my stuff is like promotional, um, you know, giving a background story and helping you connect with your audience. So that's what I focus on now. And one thing that I found interesting is that you have a subscription package. So can you like break it down to the people how that works? Sure. So um, right now I have my photography membership, Mm -hmm. right? And it's really that part of my business is more so focused on influencers or uh, personal brands if you're trying to build that, yeah. right? And so the purpose of it would be to um, have fresh content every month. So it's a monthly membership where, um, you know, depending on how you pay per year, mm-hmm. you could get anywhere from 15 to 25 photos and then obviously the more content you have the more you can put out and it'll just make your life a little bit easier because you know engaging with your audience is very important and then I just want to help um, you know, the person that takes advantage of the membership show their authentic selves mm-hmm. and, you know, show parts of their business and be able to put that content out. Yeah. And that's a key service definitely for the times right now because you have everyone who's trying to be an influencer, right. a creative, and ultimately content is king right now. Right. Especially like with the landscape, with social media, how it's changing now. And, you know, so I think that's a good service that you have. Thank you. Um, so what's some of the struggles you had? So far, because not every business has a success story. There's those ups and downs. So right, tell course. us about some like the toughest time, you know, where you thought that maybe this isn't for me. So, um, you know, I go through that a lot, actually. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's all because I'm still in the building stages of trying to figure out, like, how do I um, directly connect with my audience? So yeah. it's a it's a bunch of different things and components. So literally my my hardest um, part in my business was the first six months because okay. I probably had about six clients because I didn't know how to promote myself. Gotcha. I didn't know how to like, you know, I keep repeating, but connect with my audience because that's very important. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, that was very hard. And I ran through literally all my savings. So I only took the jump mm-hmm. because I had savings. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, And then after, you know, I have a child, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, paying for things for her, paying for things natural, you know, things that everyone has to pay for. um, You know, I I came to a point where it was I needed to get a job or I needed to go figure out something. So that's when I I did this um, basically like a a Bear Game Matters. I don't want to call it a campaign really, but basically it was like a photo shoot that I did, a photo series I did. And that literally helped my business because I was on so many other people platforms. So I took people pictures for free. Yeah. And then, you know, they're tagging me in it and it brought a lot of traffic to my page. Okay. Started getting bookings off of that. And then I was actually able to, you know, build relationships and everything that I literally, I did the job for free. But then he recommended me to someone who wanted my services and yeah. they paid for it. So that really helped me at that time. And then outside of that, it's really just, um, you know, just figuring out when you're not on the right track and how to get back on the the right track and investing yeah. in your business and making upgrades and all that stuff it it takes time and it takes you know obviously additional income to do that so um yeah. those challenges come but you just got to keep pushing through one thing that you said is that you took free opportunities mm-hmm. so like for the people out there i want y'all to understand that don't overlook the free opportunities i know it's a capitalist society we live right. in and it's all about the money but ultimately you know Though you never know who's watching you, right. who sees your work ethic, your drive during those free opportunities, exactly. you know, and that's also practice. You practice how you play. Right. How can you charge somebody if your skills aren't up to par? And right. that's that practice that you need. Definitely. So. So with your journey so far, like how did you learn what you learned? How did you get to this point? Do you have mentors or. What was, right. What was your so. Um, 
2017, end of 2017, things really started picking up for me, but I still didn't know how to run a business, okay. right? You know, I had a talent, yeah. I'm getting paid for things, but I really didn't know how to run a business. Um, now, thankfully, by 2018, I did get a business coach, right? Okay. So that was a little bit more in the middle of the year, but, um, you know, I'm always trying to expand my knowledge on how to run a business. Mm -hmm. So I'm always looking up, you know, different courses that I can take. I'm always reading different books. Um, you know, then I have people who are in business as well that, yeah. you know, I consider my friends now and really just learning from their experiences. So learning from experiences and then also trying to learn from other people. And then my business coach really helped me as well because, um, you know, she's still in a corporate world. So okay. she has that knowledge of how to run a business and yeah. then she has her own brand as well. So that really helped me. Okay, that's dope, definitely. And I read a study where black women are the highest population of entrepreneurs yes. coming to age nowadays. So definitely, you know, I applaud y'all. And my main thing is that black women have always been pushed down by society yeah. and suppressed. But I think it's great that you all are really taking the shine for yourselves yes. and creating your own movement. So during your experiences doing videography, uh, photography, and running your business, how often do you run into a black woman that's in the same position as you? So you know what? I actually, majority of my clients are black females. Okay. You know, and um, is it really, and that's why I focus on working with businesses because mm -hmm. They don't they might not know it, but they motivate me as well. So yeah. the days when I feel like, OK, this is getting too much, you know, I, I didn't make income this week, mm -hmm. um, you know, seeing them and working with them. It just makes me know that I can keep going because now they're, you know, using my services to connect with their audience mm -hmm. and they're, you know, continuing their business. They're focused on growing their business. So okay. it actually inspires me. So I actually, you know, run into a lot of women who I'm inspired by and whether I actually work with them or I just, you know, looking at their content online, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, they're growing. The, they are like, you know, a lot of black women are just like putting it all out there. They're, you know, letting us know what we need to do and mm. we just have to take advantage of it. And that's what I've been doing. Black women, y'all fix stuff. <laughs> so like y'all are the ultimate example of, of hard workers, mm. but also people who are genuine, you know, and that's something I think that representation matters and it's important that you all are in these positions. So, yeah. you know, I will keep continuing to push y'all forward because Thank it's you. necessary, you know. So for me, I know I enjoy being behind the cameras, but I recently got in front of the camera. So okay. like, what is your preference? Are you strictly behind the camera or do you enjoy being in front of the camera? Like, what's your thing? So, um, I was very shy when I was young, Okay. right? Um, you could never get me like willingly in front of a camera. <laughs> um, but then when I started actually rapping, mm. right? Well, I've, I mean, I've been rapping, but Wait, when what, I took What's your it, rap name? <laughs> what's your rap name? That's why. That's why I need. <laughs> okay, so my rap name is Mrs. Moolah. Because I, I, I was married I, to the money, right? I got you, so, I got yeah, you. So that, See what you did there? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, don't go look me up on YouTube. <laughs> just saying. But so I started like um, going into the studio and shooting music videos, okay. right? So I had to, you know, get comfortable with being in front of the camera. Yes. That really built my confidence with being in front of the camera. And then, um, you know, just putting myself out there mm -hmm. and just being OK with whatever happens. Yeah. And I think it's one of the things, too, like age, kind of like not age, but like wisdom being right. seasoned because, you know, you're 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 young lady. So <laughs> I don't want to make put age on you. But I think it's one right, of those things right. where you just get the effort mentality. Like, yes. I don't care what other people think. Let me get out here. So right. I think that's important really to put that out because a lot of people live in silence or they're afraid to chase their dreams because they're afraid of getting in front of the camera or right. speaking in front of people. But sometimes you ultimately have to take that step yes. to be the, the higher level of yourself. You right. know? So that's def definitely important. Um, for me, I always like to give a megaphone to black women. Okay. So if you could say one thing to men in society, what would it be? Oh, if I could say, is it black men only or men in general? Uh, you can, if, whatever you want to do, this is your time right now. Okay, this is my time. Um, if I had to say anything, um, I would just say, make sure you continue to protect us and, um, you know, show us respect. That's the, the main thing. Okay. 
Cool, cool. So I think that each business owner has their own respective story, their respective approaches, um, strategies, etc. So what do you think has been your key to success so far? I would definitely say not being afraid to invest in my business. Yes. So, um, you know, I started off with a Canon T4i. Then mm. I, you know, once I officially started my business, I had to um, not be afraid to invest in the 6D. Yeah. Um, you know, then I also bought the Ronin M, which mm-hmm. is the rig that I use. So, you know, constantly willing to invest in my business has helped me go ahead and make more income. Yes. Right. So if I was, you know, scared to invest in my business, then maybe I would have been stuck with the same camera and then my quality wouldn't have been as good. And then I wouldn't have been able to attract more people. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just very important for people to understand the value of investing in your business, because then you get to make the return on it. Once you're, you know, of a higher quality, um, you learn more then you're mastering your skill yeah. and then you can charge more. So if you're staying at the same level, then how are you going to in turn grow your business? Exactly. And I think that's something crucial for younger business owners or younger businesses to understand that yes. you can't continuously give the same quality. You have to continue to grow and improve because like you said, it's an oversaturated market. Yes. So you have to stand out in some way. So if you listen to anything today, definitely remember that you have to invest in your business. It's, imp- it's important. So I thank you so much for coming. You know, yes. I appreciate you definitely. Uh, do you have anything coming up that the people should know about? Um, so we already talked about my photography memberships, and then I'm also going to be releasing soon my, um, it's basically, it's called Her Brand Experience, which will focus on giving more so product-based businesses a 30-day content plan. Okay. So it's still based around the same thing, but more so focus on a product-based business and then helping them, um, you know, with different um, you know, content like promo video, um, personal pictures, and product photography as well. Okay, cool. And I'll let you guys know once that's available too. So, yes. you know, it, it, things take time to develop. Yes, so, you exactly. know, it's going to come to you. You know, you do it right the first time so you don't have to go right. back and fix it later. Can you tell the people how they can reach you? I can be reached at um, on my website, which is perimeterproductions.net. And then also my Instagram is perimeter underscore productions. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Yes. I appreciate you you definitely. And you will definitely see more of Samantha. She's doing some great stuff, you know, and we're going to talk about working together too, you know, because we got some big plans, you know. Yeah. But thank you for tuning in once again. My name is Taryn Morgan, founder and content creator, Real Talk Session Series, The Revolution Will Be Digitized. Talk Session Series, The Revolution Will Be Digitized. Real Talk Session Series, The Revolution Will Be Digitized. Speak simple, the revolution will be digitized.